Okay, we're back. Back in New Jersey. Here we are. Um, is there like um, one most challenging experience in your career that you could recall that you'd want to share? Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Um, <laughs> so this was very early on in my career, but it was my, the most telling moment for me, growing up moment. So this is when I was doing a rotation and I was rotating through accounting. And closing the books, needless to say, a very small business unit, about $250 million business unit, and I was closing the books. And it was a startup. Definitely startups, as you know, are in red for a while before they, you know, turn around. Mm -hmm. And we'd made a profit for the first month, and I pinged a note to everybody, including the CFO, that we'd made money that month. And a very good friend of mine from corporate office, um, who, was the, who was then the assistant controller, called me and said, "Padma, you better check your numbers. I'm just going to I'm going to be much more refined in what he told me." He basically said, "You you will get a call from the CFO. I've been told not to tell you where this." And looking at what the, where the issues were, and I forgot to accrue benefits cost for unions. This is not even far away from an HR person. <laughs> so the CFO calls me and um, gives me a very pleasant lecture. And he would like to meet me the next morning. And I had to think about it overnight as to how I was going to deal with that problem. And needless to say, I talked to my parents about it. And the next day when I met his office, and for a young girl, Walking into the CFO's office was a big thing. Yeah. Walked into his office and uh, I listened to him. I heard him out. And at the end of the whole thing, I said, well, this is mine. And I, I will assume responsibility for it. And whatever the repercussions are, I'm ready for it. And um, it changed our relationship. And it also taught me a big lesson. You're respected a lot more. When you actually admit your thing, and when you're wrong, it was a huge learning moment for me in my life. It's interesting. It's interesting because I find the um, best return on investment that leaders can get is when someone's made a mistake, not to fire them, but they'll be the best after that if you support them and you know accept apology and and move forward. And they learn and then learn from it. It's the worst move to let somebody go right after they make a mistake, unless it's been multiple times. Um, so that that's a great story and sounds like you handled it great and the CFO handled it great. Yes, he did. And he actually asked me to chart out a plan on how I was going to recover. There you go. Good story. <laughs> Thanks for sharing Thank that you. for sure.